Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to tell you the flow of the event from scheduler to remote agent along with send event commands. How we have to send uh, manually the send event commands. So going to the first slide. This is this will explain the flow like how event will be triggered and how it will be actioned on the remote agent. First the scheduler will find any event needs to be triggered from the database and it will check for the dependent job. If that is met it will check for the condition. If condition and dependent job both are met the event is generated by the scheduler or event processor and starting status will be reflecting on the job this signal is been transferred to the remote agent and then the job it will job status will change to the running status once the job is on running status it might be failure or success so if it is success exit code 0 will be sent back to the uh, scheduler from that to the database if it is failed there are different exit codes like 1 2 13 uh, that will be updated to the database so going for going to the next slide these are the send event commands which we will send it manually and internally job can also call this send event commands the first one is send event hyphen e start underscore job hyphen j job name this it will start the job but the thing is it will ignore the date and time condition it will check only the job on which it has to be triggered success of the job which has to be triggered but it will ignore the date and time condition start underscore job second command send event hyphen e force underscore start job hyphen j job name this command will ignore both date and time condition along with the dependent job on which it has to be triggered so i uh, i think you will get the difference between the start underscore job and force underscore start job third command send event hyphen e kill job hyphen j job name this will kill the process id of the job and uh, the status of the job will go to terminated fourth command send event hyphen e delete job hyphen j job name this command will delete the job from the database if the job name is a box job then whatever the jobs inside that box all jobs are deleted we'll go to the next command okay next command is send event hyphen e job underscore on underscore hold hyphen j job name this command will set the job to on hold status if the job is on on hold then the box it will be in running status as long as the job is not released from hold and the dependent job will not trigger until and unless the job is on hold next command send event hyphen e job underscore of underscore hold hyphen j job name this command it will off hold the job which is kept on hold earlier if we off hold the job and the conditions are met the job will start triggering as soon as it is half holded next command send event hyphen e 
job underscore on underscore eyes hyphen j job name this command what it will do it will it will not keep track of the job uh, like date and time condition those tracking will not be done if the job is kept on eyes and it will the job is treated as a success and the dependent job will run next command send event hyphen e job underscore of underscore eyes hyphen j job name this command will off is the job and this when once we off is the job the job will act as a brand new job and the condition has to satisfy newly the job whatever the condition is required for the job to be triggered those condition has to be met again before the job has to run so it will be acting as a brand new job we'll go to the next command send event hyphen e change underscore status hyphen s status hyphen j job name this command will manually changes the status of the job to anything like it might be success it will change the status of the job next command send event hyphen e it might be any event if you are for starting a job if you are keeping the job on hold if you are keeping job on eyes off eyes any command you have to be give you have to give pension the comment like it is a request from the user uh, on demand ad hoc like that so that we have to so it's like for our tracking purpose so we have to give hyphen c comment we can give any comment like request number anything we can be provided next command send event hyphen e set underscore global hyphen g global variable is equal to value this command like we will be having a global variable for each machines so uh, we have to pass the value for the global variable like on off delete i hope these commands are useful for you guys thanks for watching